Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is clearly a big departure from everything we've done on this channel thus far, and that is because we have two VIP guests here, and they are Tyler Wall, founder and CEO of SDBullion.com, and James Anderson, senior content creator for SDBullion.com as well. And I'm going to give them a chance to introduce themselves in a second. But basically, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to have an all-access interview, discussion, conversation about everything and anything related to bullion collecting and investing. And we're going to hear it all from the folks that created SDBullion.com. And uh, we're going to get a lot of really good information. We're going to learn a lot, hopefully. So stay tuned. Now, I was about to give a little bit of a spiel about SD Bullion's background and history because it's a super interesting story, but we have the founder and CEO here with us, so why not hear it from the source? So why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about SDBullion.com and uh, its origin story. Yeah, thanks for having us on, Max. It's a great channel that you run there. I watched a few uh, videos last night. I watched the, uh, the one where you had the precious metal purity scan, which I thought was great, and the uh, you know, under twenty bucks, you can you can detect the purity of gold and silver. I think you did a silver test, yep. and uh, also watch the garage sale uh, episode as well. And that kind of reminded me a little bit of kind of where we got started. We were, we're both uh, myself and the other co-founder. We're, we're initially a pharmacist, uh, so I met him in pharmacy school, and uh, about two thousand four, two thousand five. Um, you know, he, he was in a computer lab, and he had his his monitor up kind of kind of turned a little bit sideways so i couldn't exactly see what he's looking at but i kind of leaned over and i saw he's looking at precious metals so i thought i said I, I, what are you looking at gold silver and platinum for and he looked at my uh monitor and you know i was looking at stocks you know you know mutual funds and he's like well what are you looking at that for so we got a discussion going over the next five years we hit the monitor obviously was tilted because most precious metal bugs they don't want, want you to know that they own gold and silver so i you know i I, I broke the ice a little bit and I started learning a little bit about his background and uh, you know, his dad being uh, his dad and his I think his grandpa also being in the precious metal space and what value precious metals had and I didn't really you know buy into the precious metal uh, uh, story until the 2008 financial collapse happened and then it became really obvious to me that you know, I was looking at uh, news one day and Warren Buffett's getting special deals he's getting like a stock option. Uh, Extra, if you buy, if you invest five million in this stock, you get an extra option to buy another share at the same price of five years from now. I'm like, hey, sign me up for that deal, please. You know, I, I own a couple of shares. Why can I get that deal? And then it was just really apparent to me that, you know, stocks were in these companies were not being run by the in the best interest of the shareholders. And I, you know, recently a couple months ago, I saw it on CNBC where there's an actual an article discussion on. How publicly traded companies? Who are they supposed to be looking out for? The, you know, the shareholders, or are they looking out for the, the best interests of the public, or are they being run by? Who are they being run by? And it's interesting because ten years ago, you know, over ten years ago at this point, that was, that was some of the, the things that I saw pretty clearly that these these companies were being run in the best interest of um, you know you or me as a, a small shareholder. So I, I that's when I dove in. I, I Became a believer in precious metals. Uh, started buying, uh, you know, some myself uh, personally, and uh, I always wanted to own my own business. So even though we we're in pharmacy school together, got doctorate degrees, uh, he thought I was crazy initially, saying I, I was in pharmacy school, but I wanted to own my own business one day. And eventually, I talked him into, you know, navigating and starting, uh, you know, a news website. So we started a news website. Um, display advertising revenue was not going to get us out of our day jobs. We wanted to exit the day jobs at some point. There's certain things in the pharmacy world that we weren't, were becoming eh, not so okay with. And um, so 2011, we started that news website. Uh, I think we grew it to about a million page views a month by the seventh month. Wow. And we wow. said, okay, well, this is great, but still not enough money to get us out of our day jobs. And eventually our wives are going to say, hey, guys, that's, that's a nice hobby that you guys have, but please cut it out. Let's, let's spend some time together with, you know, at night instead of just working all day long. So I was like, ah, I'm, not, I'm not really, I'm not, I really want to, you know, get into uh, own my own business. And so we looked into how to start a precious metal website. And much like you are around your garage sales, Max, yeah. we, uh, we, we said, okay, well, on our news, our, uh, our post, we said, hey, anybody interested in doing a group buy? Uh, just a blog. It was just a blog. We didn't know if anybody would trust us to, you know, send 
thousands of dollars, a hundred thousands of dollars. And within that first post, we had we had three hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of interest. Oh my Just gosh. from one blog post uh, of people wanting to buy silver at a reduced price to go in for a group buy to get a better deal from uh, a mint, uh, and then we would take it and uh, distribute it accordingly. So. We said, okay, we definitely have some interest. We definitely have people that, can, that trust us, that know who we are, and that's when we started SD Bullion. And, and we kind of started it with the motto of like, we weren't going to beg anybody to send us business. We wanted to actually earn their business. So what that meant was, even though they knew us, we wanted to go out with them with great service and also great pricing. And we, we thought that you know, with our uh, news website already existing, that we had a better uh, or lower cost of acquisition of our, our customers because they're already on a website visiting for news. So why not have uh, a lower price, uh, you know, option? If they're going to buy a Silver Regal, why would they want to pay more to go somewhere else to buy a Silver Regal if they can mm -hmm. buy it from us at a lower price? So I guess that's the two, you know, things that we really focused on in the beginning was lower prices and, you know, good service. Definitely things that people like. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. For me, uh, my I guess origin story in this industry is I've been in this industry since before the financial crisis. Was investing in it, um, doing so much research in it. A couple of years before uh, the financial crisis hit, I, I figured um, you know I, I may as well start looking for work in this industry because I liked it so much. And I was in Southern California, and one thing led to another, and I started working in the industry and been working with SD Bullion for the last couple of years, and. Essentially, that's what I do. I help educate people on the website. They come and they want to learn about gold and silver or what the latest news or market updates are, and, and that is what I do here at SD Bullion. Well, it's definitely a good thing we have you on the show as well because we're going to be getting some deep dives into uh, what's going on in the market. But before we get sure. into the market, um, you know, we, you talked, uh, you know, Tyler, you talked a little bit about um, sort of your basis in service and, and low prices. But you know, can you tell us a little bit more for my viewers who are not familiar, maybe with SD Bullion, about what differentiates what differentiates you guys specifically from other big online bullion dealers like Atmex or some of the other big names? Yeah, I mean, I think that one of the biggest differentiators is the price that we've covered. Um, there's a lot of similarities between uh, us and the person, you know, the, the competitors you mentioned. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we have, we have free shipping if you're over over ninety nine dollars. So if you're over or order more than $99 and it's going somewhere in the United States, it's going to be free shipping, fully insured, uh, typically very quick delivery. Um, you know, as far as international orders, we do have like 15, 20 uh, international countries we ship to. Uh, you can find those on our website. If you just search SD Bullion International, you can find those countries that we ship to. Those obviously are not free. We, we, mm. There's no way that we could possibly ship that for free. But uh, still, when you have a, the lower price products, there's, you know, there's, there's uh we probably have close to a thousand products on our website. You know, hmm. of those items, you know, there's lots of different places you can go to, to purchase some of those items. Like a silver eagles, obviously the most popular silver coin in the world. Uh, like I said before, it's like, well, what what makes you want to pay you know three dollars or four dollars over a spot compared to maybe a two dollars and twenty five cents, two dollars fifty, and it's built really trust and then, and knowing uh, the price. You know, that, that could save a lot of money for somebody's purchasing five hundred thousand ounces of, of metal. That they have a lower price, so um, yeah, I think we, we have a lot of similarities among the the top bullion dealers in the country. Uh, for us, it's just delivering on the price, delivering on the execution, the fast shipping, the shipping speeds, and get them to the door as quickly as possible. We've uh, expanded our payment options. If people haven't been on the website lately, you can pay with e check, personal check, bank wire. Um, you know, we, we even accept Bitcoin uh, wow. through BitPay really? uh, as well. So. Uh, some cryptocurrency there. If you if you have some assets in there, we still we accept that as well. So uh, a bunch of different options for you to you know pay and uh, you know we deliver fast. So yeah, that's uh, that sounds pretty good, and that's actually a pretty good segue because I did some I did my own research on you guys, and you said something about trust, and this floored me uh, on shopperapproved.com, which is sort of a uh, you know a consumer awareness site. You guys have a 4.8 out of 5 rating with over, I'm not even sure if you're aware of this, over 26,000 reviews. Those are flooring numbers. On Trustpilot, you have similar, uh, similarly good reviews uh, with uh, just really excellent and great ratings as they have. It's pretty unbelievable. So I guess that sort of begs the question, 
What is it about SD Bullion that makes you so well liked by your customers and also uh, the community of silver bugs and investors at large? Right. That's a great question. I mean, I uh, definitely want to thank any of the, of the listeners that are purchasing from us already and, and thank them for those reviews because we definitely, uh, if it wasn't for the customers sharing our message, we weren't the best at digital marketing when we first started. You know, it mostly was word of the mouth and news and mostly it's been a lot of customers talking uh, to, to their friends and their family members about SD points. Thank you for those. But um, yeah, if you went down the reviews, I think uh, commonly it's, it's price, co commonly it's uh, service as, as our, our customer service are extremely friendly, extremely helpful. Um, we have a website I, I believe is easy to navigate. Uh, we went to a new website uh, about a year, uh, year and a half ago, and uh, you know it, it's brought in a lot of uh, new customers that are really like the way we, we set up the navigation of it. So it's easy to find the products that they're looking for. And we don't, uh, you know, make it hard for them to get to check out and check, you know, and check out on the website. So I think it's been a combination of things that we've already talked about. But definitely, I uh, want to thank everybody for leaving those reviews because those are big and, and, and growing this business. Now, if people want to call, do you guys have real live people? Right. Is yeah. So that's, that's okay. we definitely have live people. We have lots of live people that can answer the phone call. There should not be much of a phone away. We try to staff it so. That, um, Obviously, there's not there's low wait times. It's very hard to staff a precious metal business. You know, I used mm -hmm. to work in the pharmacy. That was so much easier than staffing a precious metal business. You know, our business is driven off market conditions. Mm -hmm. So if there's a if there's a drop in a, a dollar in, in precious metals uh, and silver, all of a sudden it's like everybody got a fifty percent off coupon in the mail. It's everybody's just buy buy buy. And then there's days if the market doesn't move. You know, maybe it's not as busy. So. Uh, it's definitely challenging to maintain a you know a, a staff, and but I think we do. We have a great team, and wait times are pretty low, and we have uh, live chat is available as well, where we have people uh, you know just chatting the website uh, customers that may not want to pick up the phone to call. Um, but yeah, you can check out online, or you can you can call uh, someone at our, our our trading desk and and place an order over the phone. Yeah, technology is amazing, but I'm sure that all of my viewers like me have had their frustrations with uh, automated systems and. And whatnot, right. and sometimes when you're making a big purchase, uh, especially something like bullion that you're investing in, and sometimes margins, right. and uh, you know, sometimes you can be make it or break it. Being able to talk to a real human being is definitely, definitely helpful. Um, right. It gets a little more complicated too when you start talking about IRA purchases too. We have mm -hmm. a lot of customers that you know do IRA purchases, uh, self direct IRA purchases, and some of those scenarios are definitely good to get on the phone and talk with one of our team members. Like, okay, well, what's a custodian? What do they do? What, where do I send the money? Where does the money go to first before it goes to you? What depository are we shipping to? Um, those those type of questions are definitely uh, one of those things where telephone. I definitely recommend getting on with our, our trading team. Yeah, and and I want to start getting a little bit into discussing sort of the market conditions. You had mentioned that you know sometimes if if silver or gold drops by just a bit, it can sort of shake things up. And I want to get into that. But I know that my viewers are here to see the goods. Um, so I know you've got a couple right. of coins that you want to <laughs> share with us. Um, so maybe talk, tell us a little bit about what your product offerings are like. Uh, what can uh, my viewers expect to find on your site that's either unique or exciting? And uh, you know, what kind of stuff do you have to share with us? Right. So uh, we offer the, the main the mainstays: silver eagle, silver maple, silver fomalotics, all those main mint products. But I, I was watching one of your videos last night. I know you guys like unique stuff, so I brought some. Uh, pretty cool coins, I thought, That's with me right. today. So, the Silver Picker um, Squad buys a lot of Silver Eagles and whatnot. I got my, uh, I got a, an American Silver Eagle and a Maple right here, actually, with me that <laughs> I was just uh, actually looking at for another video. Um, but uh, we do like the sort of odd and interesting stuff, too. Right. So the first one I'm going to show uh, is from the Perth Mint. It's the, uh, it's the first one of the Lunar Series 3 from the Perth Mint. It's the Year of the Mouse. Wow, that looks great. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job with that. So I brought I brought that with us. Uh, you know, this this is a I think it's a reasonable price product given that you know the Perth Mint's uh, appreciation with their their prior coins. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's you know it's five or six dollars over a spot, and it's, the quality of it's just excellent. I mean, it's it's hard to get over. So uh, that's the first one. But I, but I did also bring one from the, from the Lunar Series number two. You know, the series right before this one, mm -hmm. uh, 2013, Year of the Snake. So we were able to uh, purchase a lot of these back uh, from, a, from a customer uh, recently. 
and uh, we finally got some back in stock. We haven't had these in stock for about five years. Wow, it looks so great. That looks really great. This one is, yeah, this one's really appreciated in value, so we've got those available. The way they do that no. with the uh, frosted background and the uh, mirror finish on the actual animals is incredible. Yeah, that's that's what really makes it stick out. I mean, I really like that one. And uh, the next one's uh, a little bit more personal. It's an exclusive product to us, and we started this series a couple years ago. Um, this is the this is one we just released. Wow, that is it's gorgeous. The, it's the five ounce tree of life. So this is exclusive to SD Blaine. We call it the Truth Series. So um, being Christian based, we uh, we start. We said, well, what are we going to come out with our first, you know, exclusive coin? We said, well, how about you know more of a biblical theme? Uh, this is a you know the Tree of Life with the Roaring Lion is is what we call the the series or the set. And uh, so it's got a uh, half of a Bible verse on the Tree of Life and half. The other half's on the on the Roaring Lion, and every year we wow. come out with it. We've been coming out with this now for the second year. It's limited mintage. There's only 50,000 of the uh, Roaring Lion uh, uh, minted and 50,000 of the one ounce of Tree Life coins, and we came out with the five ounce this year for the first time where we produced, we minted 1,000 of each of the five ounce pieces, and everybody just loved them. They're, I mean, they're high relief uh, in the strike, and they're, strike by sunshine, they're struck by sunshine mint, mm -hmm. so it's a very high quality product. Um, but yeah, it's, that's, that series has been going very well. There, that, that is an absolutely gorgeous coin. Would you mind showing the reverse one more time? Oh yeah, for sure. Really nice. Really, really nice. And yeah, just, one. just, well, just so that your viewers know, if they want to see, I think we have a video on SD Bullion's YouTube channel that's dedicated specifically for that five ounce, uh, tree of life coin so people can see it if they want to up close and personal. Excellent. I'll put links down below for uh, anything that we discuss throughout the video. Cool. The next one's a, a new product to us. It came out last week and obviously uh, when you go into political topics it gets a little, it gets a little opinionated. But, you know, I, I'm more of a Ron Paul libertarian fan myself but we did come out with the, came out with the Trump coin this year that you can purchase on our website. So There's Trump. There he is. All right, there nice. we go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, obviously he's uh, one of the most polarizing presidents of, of my uh, lifetime, but at the end of the day, he's the president of the United States. Uh, like him or hate him, he's the president of the United States, and that's a, you know, a nice coin, and it's a nice option to be able to, to purchase. Right. Yeah, we just put it on our website. People are interested, and they can buy that as well. So, uh, And then our last coin that I brought today, I thought this was uh, an interesting one. It's the first year that Geiger is coming out with the World's Wildlife Series. It's, it's called the uh, 2019 uh, draft. So try to get that. I, it's not focused yet, but I can already tell that it's really, really nice. That's perfect. That's fantastic. Nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of it's my really viewers know that I've uh, that I spent some time in Kenya uh, working, and I've traveled around Africa quite a bit. Uh, so I love any of the any of the coins that have. Uh, African big game on them. They're gorgeous. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that's, uh, I think we have 10,000 of the uh, one ounce silver. The 100 ounce, uh, well, they had 100 one ounce gold pieces, and those sold out, I think, within the first week with the one ounce gold pieces were gone. So there's still a few thousand left of the draft. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look excellent. I mean, that's, that's uh, I imagine, just a small fraction. Like you said, you've got over a thousand different products on your site, but those right. are definitely some unique pieces. Uh, some of those I had seen before, some of those I have not seen before. Uh, the Tree of Life is what's stuck in my mind as uh, <laughs> absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. Um, so definitely, you guys uh, watching at home should definitely check out the site, see what kind of goodies are there. Um, and uh, at the end of the video, we're going to talk about a little deal that the folks at SD Bullion have put together for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about what's going in the market. Because, you know, obviously we've talked a little bit more about the collector side. That's what we see these beautiful uh, coins, the beautiful rounds. They are great, you know, because not all silver bugs are just in it for the investment. Many of us like the actual collecting side too. So we've talked a lot about that. Let's talk a little bit more about the numbers, about what's been going on in the market. 
I mean, in September, silver was at like 19 and change, and it's gone every which way since. Um, so can you guys tell us from a bullion dealer's perspective, what on earth is going on in the market today? So I, for the year, obviously, gold and silver have been doing very well. And the performance over the summer, um, specifically in silver, was one of the more interesting things I've seen since uh, – it's been a while, obviously, uh, since 2011 all the way till about 2015. It was really, really tough in this space, and it has not been that easy. And I think your viewers and you know people who are investors know 2016 up till even now has been difficult, uh, but it's starting to get a little more positive. Biggest thing that I saw this summer was in um, the largest silver uh, ETF. It's called SLB. Um, it's a mm -hmm. it is an ETF that typically the large money goes into because large money can't even move out of the financial system. It can't go out and buy bullion, um, like pension funds, et cetera. Uh, so if they want silver exposure, they typically will buy an ETF, and SLB is one of the largest ones. But there was a what looked to appear appeared to be a really large trader who bought huge amounts of SLB and then exchanged them for physical. If you're a large enough trader and they allow you to do it, wow. you can withdraw some of the silver that's held in London on behalf of that ETF. Um, so we had a, some large trader, some large entity over a small frame time frame in the summer, um, pulled out over 100 million ounces. And for anyone who knows their history about silver, uh, that's that's along the lines of some of the largest private silver holdings in the world. I think you know if you're talking, talking about modern time frames, and the Hunt brothers is probably third largest of all time when they were doing their thing in 1980, January uh, January 1980 when silver hit 50 an ounce, they were. Just one of many who were betting long in silver derivatives, but they also had about 100 million, 100 million ounces in physical form in 1980. And by the way, there's a lot more silver above ground in 1980 in investment grade form and, and than there is today. We've, we've thrown a lot of our silver away without recycling it. It's been so cheap hmm. along the way. And then you also had in the late 90s, you had Warren Buffett uh, and Berkshire Hathaway. In 1997, they went long with silver, held on to that position for about 10 years, um, did okay. Could have done better if they held on longer, but they didn't. So uh, maybe they doubled the investment, but they sell, they held on 129 million ounces for like an eight nine year time span. Um, done articles about this, both these different things at SD Bullion. Um, but this uh, right now, JP Morgan has a huge uh, comics warehouse position. I think they hold over 50 percent of the silver that fractionally backs all the derivatives sitting on the comics, and that is the most powerful price discovery mechanism in the silver price, which you see when you go on websites, you know, spot silver, mm -hmm. et cetera. Uh, Comics is dictating most of that um, for the most part. And so JP Morgan has a huge position. No one knows specifically who owns it specifically, if it's their clients or if it's them. If you look at the racketeering charges that have been coming up, I think the six, uh, six trader just got uh, busted by the department of justice and charged. And sounds like they've been front running a lot of their customers. So they do have clients who, you know, who trade silver actively, and allegedly they have uh, their own employees front running those trades. So that's um, that was also a very interesting thing this summer. It's a combination mm -hmm. of that really big SLB withdrawal of over 100 million ounces. So you can tell probably some billionaires in there trying to pull some silver out. Probably wants beta on the gold price. Probably someone who thinks gold's going to go higher. So he wants beta. He wants silver because it's, it's going to do even better. And then you have this J.P. Morgan fiasco where the Department of Justice has literally taken the former head of the precious metal trading desk and charged him with RICO laws, which is something that's only used for organized yeah. crime. I mean, the, 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 when you go and look at how serious the allegations are and the verbiage and the vernacular that's being used against this company, it really makes J.P. Morgan sound like a criminal operation. Um, there's people out there who think they are, um, you know, and, and so I'm not saying they are or not. But there are a lot of people who allege this, and the Department of Justice is making that allegation. That's the U.S. Department of Justice. Wow. So I would say those two things, obviously the gold markets, you know, if you look at gold, I think over 60 fiat currencies are hitting nominal record highs right now. And I'm not talking about, you know, Botswana's currency. I'm talking about yeah. the euro hit a record yeah. nominal price high. Uh, we didn't see headlines about that in the United States. I wonder why. Uh, the British pound, same story. Uh, Japanese yen, same story. I'm talking about major major fiat currencies. So, uh, you, you know, it's just a matter of time for the fiat Fed note starts hitting nominal price highs for gold. And my expectation is when we clear 1900, you'll start to actually see this become what everyone's been thinking it will become eventually, which is a mania for gold. And essentially later on, it'll be silver too. And that's, we're probably a couple years away from that, mm -hmm. but 
Um, right now, you know, people who are looking at it, the whole system in general, and what's going on with the, you know, the repo markets in New York, it, you know, I, I could go on and on about how, how serious that can be. Um, you know, if you look at 2001 and 2007, the repo market was the first signal for those for those yeah. major crashes in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And now it's happening, but on a much larger scale, uh, yeah. on a scale that's much, much scarier. And so um, it's concerning, and I think people need to really be paying attention. And if they are investing uh, and they're interested in gold and silver bullion, they should they should try and get a prudent position now while the prices are where they are. I, I think they're going to be much higher in the next decade to come. So and That's just my personal opinion. Interesting. In terms of, let's say, 2020, right? So next year, we're coming up to the new year. Uh, what kind of, you can talk about micro and macroeconomic trends, but what kind of micro and macroeconomic factors are going to play into the price of precious metals uh, in the next year? So in the last five years, the U.S. dollar versus other emerging market currencies mainly has been pretty strong. Uh, the question is, can it remain strong? Can it go higher? There's some people who are, a lot of people who are betting long the dollar in terms of the fiat Fed, uh, Fed notes value versus other uh, competing fiat currencies. So there's a lot of traders out there who think there's going to be a dollar squeeze because there's a lot of dollar denominated debt, a lot of emerging markets who don't have enough dollars. So they are, they're thinking there'll be a short squeeze on that. Um, but a lot of those people, too, will then admit to you, yeah, the dollar could pop higher for a little while, but eventually gold's going to supersede everything because it's the ultimate money, and that's where the short squeeze happens because we're all dealing in fiat currency here, and we're playing a game of unknown unknowns. We don't really know when collectively we look around at one another and say, look, uh, this really isn't money, um, and then people start running toward what is money. Um, big money can't do that. A guy like Ray Dalio... He really can't, you know, take his his you know multi hundred billions of his uh, of his fund and move it into gold. First and foremost, that would ruin the financial system, and he would be the scapegoat. Yeah. So he really can't do that. Um, but uh, private investors, private billionaires, private millionaires, like that guy that I was the rogue trader, we think that pulled over a hundred million ounces out of SLB. Those people will start doing it quietly but surely, and I think they're already doing it now. Mm -hmm. So. You're asking me about 2020. You know, I've talked to people who are experts in this field too. Jeff Christian, he's uh, he's an analyst, a no-nonsense guy over at CPM Group. He and, and if you look technically at the gold price, the way it looks, it looks like it's forming a bowl shape, and the, you know it's going to be threatening 1900 probably by 2022-ish, roughly. You ask him, you know, about what he thinks, and he says gold prices should be threatening record high, and silver prices 2022 to 2024. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not saying this is happening tomorrow, but I am saying that there's a lot of things we don't know what's going on. And in, in, for instance, in the New York repo market, um, at any point that could that could really start to snowball, and uh, it could happen faster than that. Is what I'm trying to to warn people. So um, don't uh, don't 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 uh, don't assume you have a lot of time if you're trying to get yeah. a position, uh, you know, a strategic position in bullion. I would I would try and get it sooner than later. Yeah. Well, I guess that's also a good segue to uh, start talking a little bit about what's in it for my viewers from you guys. Um, 2022 is far away, uh, but Thanksgiving is this week, and Christmas, Hanukkah, and all the other holidays in December are coming right up. So what kind of deals are you guys offering? Uh, what kind of deals are you guys offering to the general public? And uh, what kind of little special extra things can we get for the Silver Picker Squad? Yeah, we'll, we'll get into the uh, the last one here in, in, in a few minutes, All right. but uh, def definitely stay tuned for that. But, the, you know, the deals this week are pretty strong. We have a Black Friday special, uh, pre-Black Friday special, depending on when your listeners listen to this podcast. And then we have, uh, you know, Cyber Monday, the Black actual Black Friday and Cyber Monday, we're, we're switching out deals all day long and through the weekend. So... Uh, can't tell you the exact deals. That would be a tip of my hand at some of our competitors that may be listening. But definitely need to check out the website and uh, just click on the deals link or the Black Friday link uh, on the navigation bar at the top of the website, and you'll go right to our deals page uh, to find those products that are on special. A lot of them are on uh, limited runs, uh, especially on Black Friday. So uh, if you see a deal, uh, don't wait around. We don't do any rain checks for precious metals. So yeah. <laughs> if, you want, if you see something you like, you, you better – check out you know when you see it so uh as far as your uh your listeners go that we have a special deal five ounce at spot deal uh for you they just need to go to a specific url sdboyan.com uh backslash silver picker on one words so it's s-i-l-v-e-r-p-i-c-k-e-r silver picker all one word no spaces no hyphens and then get their 
uh, a free, or a, not a free, a bar at spot. So five ounce bar at spot. Not bad. Uh, not bad yeah, at all. That's, that's, that's a great deal. Yeah. Uh, I'll put the link obviously down below for that so everybody can make sure that they get to the right place. Um, right. And that is for, for new customers. So I do want to clarify that new customers only. So we have, probably have some good things customers that are already SD1 customers. For new customers, five ounce uh, a bar at spot. Yeah, well, that's definitely good because I get emails literally every single day asking me where uh, they can get silver at spot or close to spot even. So uh, yeah. a nice way to uh, start off uh, their relationship with you guys uh, is uh, to get some silver at spot, especially five ounces. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's not too shabby. So definitely thank right. you for that. Um so that sounds pretty good. I mean, we've gotten through a lot of stuff. We've gone through the whole market. We've gone through your story. We've gone through uh, some really cool examples of, of brand new and some older uh, cool silver bullion for the collectors out there and for the investors. Um, before we wrap this up, is there anything else you guys want to add? Anything, uh, you know, you can pose some questions to my viewers too and we can see what the, we can follow up with the, with the comment section down below later. Yeah, I would ask them what their favorite thing is to buy. It sounds like the majority of viewers are collectors. I'd love to hear what products they enjoy to buy, or if there's a bullion product specifically, I'm always interested to hear, especially the newest bullion products, what people are interested in. And I, I definitely like to hear your your uh, viewers' predictions on 2020 price predictions as well. I mean, that's <laughs> always something that comes up in a lot of different interviews, and you know, lots of times, you know, a person like James, who, who throws out some prices, he, he gets bashed by the by the commenters because he's saying silver or gold's going to higher, and they, they've heard that story for five or six years, and uh, it hasn't happened. So definitely like to see what the uh, listeners uh, think the price is going to do next year. It's election year. I don't think we covered mm -hmm. that, but I could see that being uh, some increased volatility myself. Uh, not sure good or bad, but... Uh, Definitely would be interested to see you know what the feedback is on that front. Yeah, well, it's def it's like the weatherman, right? The weatherman can be right, you know, seventy five percent of the time, and no one will say anything. But the second that he's wrong, right. everybody's complaining. <laughs> yeah, right. But this has been super interesting. Uh, you know, this is the first time that I've had you know a real uh, opportunity to speak with the bullion dealers themselves. You know, there's plenty of videos and whatnot that I've seen where it's sort of just a one way interaction but this has been really great um and uh you know i'd love to have you guys back on the show another time um and uh, i'm sure my viewers will too so guys in the comments below viewers uh silver picker squad comment on things that you like to hear if you have more questions uh for these guys over here i'm sure they'd be happy to answer them so leave your stuff down in the comments below Check out sdbullion.com slash silverpicker for uh, your introductory five uh, ounces uh, at spot. That's pretty awesome. And definitely check out their, uh, their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. So thank you guys very much for being my first real interviews on the channel. Um, and uh, thanks for, for coming and sharing all, all these stories. Thanks, thanks for having us on, Max. All right. Until next time, Silver Picker out.